Welcome into Head with Chara with me, Debra. Thank you for coming in and clicking onto the video. This is for the sign of Pisces. And yes, I am fanning myself because it is 40 degrees here in South Africa. And I cannot put a fan on because otherwise you will hear it. But this reading is looking into someone's current feelings for you. We want to know who this person is, how they're feeling about you, what can occur next between the two of you. And most importantly, we want to know an outcome here because we need to know is this worth your while or not okay so let's get into this Pisces as usual when I shuffle the cards I always show you um during the reading what it looks like when the cards are all laid out to each other on the table because you want to see how beautiful they look and how they look together as well so I will zoom in on that for you while I'm taking the cards out but let's get a look at the first two cards high priestess and the magician in this deck, the High Priestess is called Listen, that she is the High Priestess. This is a very spiritual energy. It talks about intuition and trusting the unknown and spirituality, spirits and the mysticism of life. Then we've got another energy coming up that's quite similar, a little bit different because we have the Magician card coming in here which is talking about manifesting. It's talking about having the power to create your own life. How is this a love reading? I'm just saying. Because the thing is, this could be two different people. It could mean a magical connection or something spiritual or something that's different. It's energy. It's intuition. There's amethyst over there as well. So this could be something that is very different, a very different kind of connection that comes up for you, Pisces. I think you would love something like this. I think you would love like a spiritual connection that you can have between you and somebody else. I've got to go further. What is going on here? It's like a, something's different for me in this reading. Let's zoom in on those cards for you and show you what is going on here with regards to you and possibly somebody else here. So we've got a devil card that has come up here. Okay, major arcana. We have got a nine of pentacles interesting energy next to the high priestess and we've got the king of pentacles we've got a star card this is getting interesting an eight of pentacles a two of cups a two of cups i'm so happy to see this we've got a, a hierophant that has just come in here i'm very happy to see a judgment the world card and the chain of pentacles that's your outcome energy? Wow. What is under the deck? Under the deck. This reading. You've got an empress under the deck. There's a lot of major arcanas in your reading. Zodiac signs. We've got the devil card. We've got Libra with the justice. We've got Aquarius. We've got Aquarius. Um, so, um, we've got um where am i we've got a we've got aquarius with a star card we've got taurus with a hierophant what else do we have here yeah and underneath we have the empress this reading is blowing my mind a little bit there's something so different going on on here this is like definitely with a star card coming in here it's like a dream come true energy this could be something very special. I'm just going to tell you. Guys, forgive me with a fan. I'm, I'm stuck. It's really hot. So with this energy, the devil card coming in here, you know, it came up next to the the man, the man, magician card. So I feel like this could be a person. Honestly, it could be a person. It can also be an indication of what can manifest between the two of you, which is a very passionate connection. It is also tied to material life, tied to... The physical world being the devil energy, which is Capricorn, materialist, earth energy. So it shows that there is a strength or a grounding energy that will solidify the two of you. And you know, you've got three cards here that literally talk about spiritual energy being again the Hierophant showing up here in the outcome. You guys are going to teach each other so much so much you will level up with this person do you see the staircase going up behind you i'm jumping around because this reading has got me it's like it's very very different the nine of pentacles could be tied again 
to the magician card because we're talking about stability. We're talking about trying to create something that is very strong. Or this could even be associated to somebody else in the, in the connection. It could be one person here is manifesting a life um, of material success and wanting to have a relationship that is the same. And there could be somebody else coming in here with the Nine of Pentacles that has gotten themselves and has taken life seriously as well. And who has gotten themselves to be independent, gotten themselves to be in a place where they are feeling as if they um, can take care of their own needs. And if they are going to invite somebody in here into this world that they are living in, it is going to be because they are worth it. High Priestess. They will listen to their intuition if they're going to get involved with somebody. I'm seeing something else that I just picked up on in this reading as well. This reading is really really left me speechless spirit guides wow do you know you've got two cards coming up here that are talking about karma as well and with the two cards coming up talking about karma we've got justice coming in here with libra we've got judgment coming in with this kind of change that's going to take place between the two of you so i feel like this connection is quite a big one i'll be honest with you um balance is coming back into your life i feel like this person can offer you balance i also feel like you're going to have goals to reach with this person. Whoever this is, they could be um, an earth sign here. They could be Taurus. They could be Virgo or Capricorn. Remember, we do have a Taurus and we do have a Capricorn in your reading. With this energy, we've got somebody who is very grounded. I feel like whoever they are, they are looking at, and we've got an Eight of Pentacles here in the next actions. So this could even be somebody a, that you work with. It could be somebody that you meet through work but with regards to the king of pentacles this person's energy is very grounded oh you got a beautiful reading pisces and um, they're very grounded here and they're very serious about what they want to have with you they want to be able to work on a connection so that it can become the way that they want it to be and with the star card coming in yeah is your aquarius energy it's like they're trying to work on something to create a reality here that has only been a dream to them before it's like this person has been dreaming about having a connection with somebody like you and so they will work on this dream because what they are ultimately looking for and i've just noticed something else again you're reading there's so many synchronicities in this reading if you are a spiritual person in some kind of way then i feel you are being represented here by the high priestess energy male or female and this is what's making this reading get to this next level. I've got a client out there, and she knows who she is. She's so wonderful um, that I do personal readings for. We are both witches. So whenever we do readings with each other, and I've actually got about two or three like amazing people. And whenever I do readings with them, sometimes video calls as well, um, we have these really weird synchronicities. Like It will just be so strange. It will happen over and over again. And I'm picking up that same kind of energy here in this reading. So somehow you're a spiritual person in some kind of way and you're just connecting to me and I'm connecting to you. Even though there's a time difference here, it doesn't make a difference. There is no time um, existing. With this energy, I feel as if this person in some kind of way has got the same sort of energy as you um the same kind of like spiritual energy or believing in their own power that kind of thing so you guys are really well matched with each other here it comes up because we see the two of cups rocking up here two people equally sharing an energy remember we also have a justice card look how similar this is look how these two cups come together equally laid out here. But then in this side here, we're noticing one cup's got like a bit of green and the other one's got more red. And it's kind of reminding me of the fact that, um, or it could even be, look at this, guys. There's so many others reading. Now I'm speechless. This is something different. Look at the colors that are coming out of these cups here. We've got this blue green and yes, the blue, the blue. We've got this reddish colors and there's the reddish colors there. And it's also rising like this. It's like the two of you are manifesting each other into each other's world. And because both of you do want to have the same thing, you do want to have what the other one has to offer. You get justice coming in. Maybe 
even with the judgment card, both of you have been through endings. Both of you have met your karmics already. And now you meet the real one. You meet the person you were meant to meet. You have a both released endings. There's an ending. There's an ending. And you've been through, you've you paid the debts that you meant to you meant to pay. There is your hierophant. There's another spiritual energy again, wisdom, spiritual leveling up, understanding, having been taught, having life having taught you, having having carried the burdens, having paid your dues. I feel like both of you have been through karmic relationships already. You paid your dues, you paid the debts. You are paid off in full, okay? And I feel this is the, what you get. You get this blessing when you've been through it. You get this um, leveling up in your life because of what you have done. It's a beautiful reading. Guys, I've never done a reading like this before. Not even a personal one. With the world card coming in here, it's like you get given this gift. I remember long ago, I had this really, really, I think like my first tarot book. It's somewhere around here but it's so torn to pieces i'm sure it's over 20 years old and in that book they they talk about the world card as being a buffet you know it's like the universe is offering you a buffet and you can just basically pick and choose what you want from that buffet why would you be offered such a gift because you have done something pretty amazing in your lives here both of you and i feel as if you guys are you went through what you went through. You experienced what you experienced. You didn't let your negative experiences, that's what makes me feel like you're a spiritual person, change your soul, change your energy, change who you are. You still remained the light. You still remained in the light. And this person is the same. They never let things that hurt them and broke them back then change who they are now. You know, I was watching a video about somebody, um, I'm going to forget his name, Matthias. Uh, uh, he's got a like a Spanish name, I can't remember, but he's an amazing spiritual human being. And he was talking about the pain that we experience. And he was saying, that's how the universe gets to you, the world. Because it is the experiences of feeling the listen energy that we go through, that we experience that we learn from it's how we get the universe to interact with us the universe understands energy and the energy in us is feeling so sometimes we experience some negative things because we need to be able to go through this energy of being able to let the blessings get to us as long as we don't take those negative feelings into us and make it who we are we release them and it's almost like it becomes the doorway for these blessings because you're getting this relationship to go. One of my cats is doing something very naughty. I shall pause. Wait. Yes, I have found her. She got herself stuck. <laughs> this is the one that's so naughty in all my readings. She got herself stuck between. Go then. Okay. Between the wall and the curtain. And she got stuck. Welcome to my world. Okay. So this relationship is going. I'm like thinking, what is she doing? Is she getting, is she stuck over there? It's like she was stuck. So literally you are getting this um, relationship to go to a place where it's a dream to come true for you. You've allowed yourself not to be broken by the pain. And you've allowed yourself to be able to heal and to take spiritual pathways instead of the negative ones. We must always remain in the light. And because of this Ten of Pentacles, two people who are going to go far in a relationship until they're standing with all their grandchildren right over there. And then we've got this beautiful Empress coming in here. If you do not have children, you may have children or at least a few pets here, yeah, okay, <laughs> like me. Um, there's even a dog laying over there. So if you do not have children, you might have a child with this person. And um, even if you have a family already, you've got your own family. Um, there's a union that comes in here of beautiful nurturing, beautiful caring that comes up here where you've got two people who are going to be creating the world again with each other 
as they are moving forward. This for me is a magical energy that I feel coming in here. And I feel as if even with my cat coming through the window and getting stuck between the wall and the sofa, I was just like, my <laughs> poor cat, you know, um, even her coming in here yeah, like this, it's just so, everything's so like just the way it is. She got attracted into the reading to be here. And just all this energy that's coming in, this is like a magical union between two different people who are they themselves magical in some kind of way. And because of your experiences, because of what you've been through, you are now building the world to become this energy of the Empress so that the two of you can live here with each other together. This is beautiful. Thank you so much for coming in and watching this reading with all the drama and everything else. But um, if it does resonate with you and you do wish to catch more content from me, please do uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, turn on the notification bell. If you don't do that, then you may not get notified when I release another drama full reading. Otherwise, do not forget to turn on the hit the thumbs up button as well. And then I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.